Hello and welcome to another video. We are still on the island of Sardinia in the southwest part of Italy. And today we will be doing a long hike to a really famous beach called Cala Golorizze. And it's one of the most famous beaches actually on the whole island. The hike will take about an hour and 20 minutes and it's only accessible from land. So you cannot take a boat and get on to the beach. Maria is ready for the sun. She has a long sleeve shirt and also long pants on her. I do. It's because I have been getting too burned and I really need to protect my skin. I'm already like peeling a lot on my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, and the heat here is crazy during the middle of the day, which we're going to be hiking right in the middle of the day, which was not smart, but today's our last day and we need to make the best of it and go on this hike. Yeah. We're just going to eat real quick before we head out. I got some kind of, um, I don't know what this is, but we have some fish in a, <laughs> in a can. And now we're almost ready to head out. We have started the hike and it's about 35 degrees Celsius. Must be well over 100 Fahrenheit. We do have four bottles of water, so that's great. And we are starting to come up to the mountains here. You can see it's a steep incline here. The landscape was quite dry here and also a lot of loose rocks on the way up. And even though the parking lot had been full of cars, we still didn't see any people on the trails. It's been about five minutes and we can already feel the body temperature starting to heat up. Whew. Sometimes we got a bit of shade from the trees and bushes above us, but all the rocks seem to have absorbed heat from the sunlight, which made it even more hot. Are you tired? Yeah. How are you feeling after the first 15 minutes of the hike? Pretty hot. Are you thirsty? Well, just a little bit. Yeah. So far we haven't seen anybody on the trail, so hopefully we don't get lost here. That would be a disaster. Now the landscape is opening up here. Look how beautiful. Uh, that's really nice. I the think breeze. that's where we're going. Yeah, the breeze Maybe. is really nice. Yeah. The breeze is really nice here. Oh, and uh, I think that's where we are going. But I'm not sure, hopefully so. After about 30 minutes, we had made it to the very top of the mountain. But now we had to start hiking down again. However, the breeze was quite nice here and it made it a bit cooler. There were some big and unstable rocks here and you had to watch out because a sprained ankle could be a disaster. And especially in this heat when you can get dehydrated really quickly. All the rocks are kind of loose here. It's a bit of a steep hike to get down to the valley. We have to stop for a water break. The sweat is dripping, but it's not too bad actually. And the view is nice. We kept walking and thought that we didn't have all that much left. Now we're almost Yo, down in the valley and the beach and we're starting to see some people going back up. So that's nice. We have arrived here to the beach now after a little bit more than an hour of a hike. And uh, we can see this incredible water here. Really, really nice. So let's get down there. So we have arrived here now and I've seen a few people here without their tops on. Uh, it seems to be the case in all of Italy when people go to the beach. And also one person was naked over there. I don't know if you're supposed to be naked here, but... <laughs> we, cannot, we cannot film that anyway, so... Technically, I don't think this was a nude beach, but we did see a lot of people going topless.
whew, I was just flying the drone here and uh, I think we're about to go swimming now. Maria is ready in her swimsuit. And we're gonna go naked and swim, or actually not. I actually did see a lot of people, I walked over there to fly my drone, a lot of people with their boobs hanging out. <laughs> and uh, one naked guy over there also. <laughs> now we're both ready to jump into this incredible water. It's so blue, I can't believe it. And I really wanna swim out to the arch out here. Um, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. It might be too far, we'll see. But we're gonna try and uh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. It's so nice, the temperature is perfect. Above 25 degrees Celsius, probably 80 something Fahrenheit. It's not even cold, but it's not hot either, so that's a great success. The fish the fish bite your legs here. They're nibbling a bit on you. Yeah. Nibblers. <laughs> nom 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 nom. We dove into the water and had seen an arch a few hundred meters off the shore that we wanted to swim out to, but first we had to see if there were any currents under the water surface. Do you want to swim to the arch over there? Yeah, I think so. It might be kind of far, so we'll see how it goes. Did you see it from the drone? Yeah, I did see it. The water looked quite calm, but to get to this arch in the rocks, we had to first swim around the corner quite far away from the beach. We took a deep breath and started swimming out to the open sea. We kept going and the waves started to get a bit choppy almost right away. We're starting to come a bit off of the shore here now and I can almost see the arch. It's actually a little bit further than what I thought. It started to get really deep but we could still see the bottom really clearly and I swam down a couple of times just to enjoy the views. Arch. It reminds me of when I swam to the arch in Cabo in Mexico and almost drowned. Hopefully that is not gonna happen this time. We came further and further out and in some areas it must have been about 150 feet deep or 45 meters. But we could still see the bottom really clearly. There it was, the famous arch of Calagoloritze and we were coming in right behind it. Under the surface you could see the rock formation going straight down into the sand like the root of a tree. We have arrived to the arch. It wasn't too bad if we swim. It wasn't. But we made it. Let's swim through. We wanted to swim through to the other side and I was thinking that perhaps I could get up onto the arch and jump in. It was quite cool to go through and have the arch around and above us, but now we had finally made it to the other side. Is the water covering the lens? Yeah, but it's better now. The waves were coming faster here, but we decided to get up on the rock. It's filming right now. I'm up on the arch. How incredible is this? It looks like this must have been created by some kind of underwater volcano or something. If you look at the rocks here. Grab this here with your left hand and then put your right foot here. Yeah. 
You have to put one leg up. We started swimming back again, and it seemed like the water was coming against us, so it was a bit harder to swim. We also saw big rocks at the bottom that had fallen from the cliffs above. But, uh, not too bad. It was a nice adventure. Are you tired? Yeah, the arch. The arch here is really beautiful. We saw it yesterday on the boat ride, but the boats have to stop 200 meters away from the shore. Here we go! We still had a bit further to go, so we went below the surface again one last time. was uh, not too bad of a swim. I was getting a little bit tired, but not all that tired. Yeah, it's definitely better with a snorkel, but I hate packing a snorkel because it takes up so much space. But I feel like in the Mediterranean Sea, it's really salty and you're more buoyant. So yeah, you float. Yeah. Now we are starting the hike all the way back up to the parking spot and uh, I think this was my favorite part of this whole trip here in Sardinia the swim out to the arch <laughs> but the sun uh, is going down here behind the mountain so we have to start heading back Here we go again This hike was not that enjoyable actually because all the rocks are loose and when you're walking you just Keep slipping. <laughs> it's almost more sweaty on the way up because uh, it's so steep to get up, and uh, I think you, your body uses more energy to climb up instead of down. So even though the sun is down now, it still feels like it's more exhausting to go back up because of the steep incline I need to eat now I have olives and no more water left cookies you drank all the water no. oh now we're almost back up again we walked all the way from over there no more water we finished all five half liter water bottles. We only bought two and brought two and a half liters. That was not enough. We should have brought more. Half a gallon. A bit more than half a gallon is what we brought. We made it back up to the top and now we're starting the decline again. Back to the car. We had to stop a few times but we have no more water and no food or maybe some food. We do have food. We got into the car. We got into the car. We made it. We're going back. About um, I don't know, 50 minute drive maybe. We have arrived back to the Airbnb where we have been staying now for a couple of days and uh, this is the end of the video 
so thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already then please subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video thanks again for watching and also don't forget actually to give this video a thumbs up also in the next video we will be traveling to different countries if you want to see where that is then again don't forget to subscribe